last time that we were talking, you mentioned that uh, you're really into karaoke. And during COVID, I'm wondering, is that something you're able to do at home? Do you do a lot of karaoke at home? So it's kind of gotten a, a bit out of hand. I, I, uh, I have... I've managed to have homes that have basements in them. And uh, I, it started with like one little karaoke machine and like a string of lights. And it's evolved into uh, the, the next house that I moved into had a giant basement. And I, I basically spent this year turning it into a 1960s tiki karaoke lounge, like with vintage furniture. And like I painted all the walls and I hung like disco lights and it's very elaborate. Like somebody walked down there the other day and looked at me like I was crazy. They were like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Evan, you know, what it, you know what it sounds like to me, Evan? It sounds like a code violation. It sounds like it, you are running a legitimate Polynesian restaurant in your basement. It, it I could, yes, I could probably, I need a permit for this. Um, yeah. So yes, I, I have been able to karaoke. I actually just celebrated my, my 33rd birthday and um, safely had, you know, people tested like three pe people who came over and we actually reenacted like every Broadway show in the basement, complete with a version of It's a Hard Knock Life with my friends with mops and brooms doing a whole choreographed number and it was it was wonderful yeah it was it was very needed in such a gloomy time <laughs> just pure yeah, silliness I I, you're you're i know that you love music and uh anyone who loves music or even doing stand-up or working in front of a live crowd that's what we're all jonesing for during COVID. i mean i miss i really miss restaurants and i miss yeah. audiences um and i'd love to eat uh, a really good meal in front of an audience. That would be my dream to, you know, in COVID. Fantastic. Uh, yes. But I would um, like to just blow up, blow out my birthday candles. You know, you can't even like, people can't even blow out their birthday candles on their cakes. Anymore. Right. It's crazy. Right. Well, your band, uh, was it Evan and Zane? Evan what and was Zane. The what, what was the last um, performance that you did? What was the last, what, could you remember? Cause I can remember my last live performance, I think was in this theater. Day, like, and then two days later, everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. So I have this fond memory. Do you remember the last time that you guys performed live? Yes, the last time we performed live, every year we do um, an anti-Valentine's Day show. We've, we've kind of turned February 15th into the polar opposite of Valentine's Day because our band started with this idea I had of, you know, singles and brokenhearted people have nowhere to go during this holiday. So I was like, let's cram a bunch of people into a bar and sing just the saddest, most depressing songs about heartbreak and misery. And it turned yeah. out to be this very cathartic, amazing night. So now we've made it an annual thing. Um, and so, yeah, February 15th, I believe, was our last show live. Um, and we just performed our first streaming show. And you must be able to relate to this, how no one claps after anything that you do. Like, no one laughs at jokes. No one. You mean, are you talking about during, uh, during Zoom or in my entire career? <laughs> uh i don't know <laughs> during zoom i just served that one up right <laughs> um no, but i know what you mean because but, uh, we're used it's to weird feedback. we're used to feedback yeah feeding off of the audience's energy we have none of that and so you don't know whether or not you're bombing or what um we we did a rage against the machine song uh <laughs> killing in the name and Man, I think that's the first time that song has ever been played to just a room full of no one. And the song ends with me just screaming, F you, I won't do what they tell me, like, over and over. And I really went for it. Just, F you, I won't do what you tell me. And then, crash. <clears throat> so, okay. Like, I'm, like, dripping sweat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very strange experience. Yeah, and very, then you get... The, the, then the doorbell rings and it's your Postmates delivery. And you're like, exactly, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Or like somebody interrupts the streaming with like a text message or a Zoom call or something. You're like, oh, sorry, sorry. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> my son, my son runs on a stage, puts a fireman hat yes, on me. You know, it's you just like that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe you just have to shelve Rage Against the Machine during, you know, until you get an audience back. Or just That's lean in. Maybe we should just only do crazy loud songs and just, just right. go for it. You know what I should start doing is telling jokes and when I don't get a response, lose my temper <laughs> and yell as if 
what the F's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> what, what the f man? You know, this is a pretty good joke. What's wrong with you? And just completely escalate until I'm taken away. That would be great. There you go. We're, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close.